So what you could do is break all the tops off and then make a little pile for the for the bunnies of all the carrot tops. Okay. So just break them off and throw them in. We'll make a nice little pile right here. The rabbits love the greens. Right. Well, they'll have lots, won't they? Oh, yeah. But have a look at this one. It's gross. It has like a big bubble. Yeah, we'll cut that part off. It's okay. Oh, yeah, and there's... Oh, it's eating, Dad. Like right there and all there. And yeah, we'll see if it's still good or not. We'll, we'll uh, get it. Cut off the bad parts and <laughs> the rest, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, almost got that one out without breaking. All right, and that is that. From the ground to the freezer, um, vacuum sealing is the way to go. Uh, so we, I was given this Cabela's uh, vacuum sealer. There's Food Savers, another brand. I'll actually put a link to one of the Food Saver ones in the description of the uh, video here. But uh, man, is that thing handy. We use it for uh, our deer meat. We use it for, uh, we'll be using it for chickens when we process them. Uh, and it's a really great way to, to uh, you know, store your vegetables from your garden. The KitchenAid uh, mixer, the KitchenAid food processor there has a slicing feature on it. It worked really good as far as like, you know, running a bunch through quickly, but it did kind of, you know, make a bunch of smaller pieces and stuff like that. I probably would have preferred to, um, if I had more time to slice them up with a knife, it makes bigger chunks a little bit nicer, but, uh, these should last about three to five months in the freezer before you know they're going to start to i guess not be as good uh, and that's perfect for us so if we can get through you know to the end of the year with uh, with what we have here that would be great um and hopefully we'll have time left in the season to plant another crop of carrots we'll uh, we'll plant a fall crop here and uh, see if we can get some more uh to harvest before the frost comes so questions or comments let me know what you guys think we're trying to get every bit of our harvest process this year and this vacuum sealer is going to be a big part of that especially for peas and beans which will be coming up next uh, i'm going to do the very similar process no blanching 
Uh, don't like to blanch this stuff if possible. Every time you heat things up, you're killing a lot of the natural nutrients and microorganisms and things like that that are in your in your fruit, your fruit or vegetables, uh, your food. So uh, we're going to heat this up one more time. Of course, when we cook it into a stew or a soup or something like that. So the less you can cook it, the better. As always, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below there. It makes a big difference for us. And subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along. Of course, we'll have lots more gardening things coming up this year. And uh, our wood burner came today. So if you're following along, be more on that to come here soon. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.